Hey guys. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Oru Kayak Inlet. This is the box that it came in. And this is the packaging that came with it. Parts, and send them to buy more. It help if you have any questions. Assembly and disassembly guide. An owner's manual, coupons for you to get people to buy more of their products. I just want to show you some of the highlights, some of the features, why I chose this kayak over, you know, another folding kayak or even inflatables or even just the idea of a normal standard kayak. Hopefully this will help your buying decision as well, because from what I could tell, there wasn't a lot of information out there on this specific model, alone Oru kayaks at all. There was mixed reviews, some people have different expectations about what a kayak like this should and shouldn't be. I decided to, to go with this kayak after doing a lot of research. Because REI had it on their website, I knew that this was a reliable product and if it wasn't, REI was going to guarantee my satisfaction. I think REI probably has the best customer service out of any industry. And if you're not satisfied, we'll 100% take it back, which I think says a lot about a product itself. So that's why I ended up pulling the trigger and actually buying this from REI. Now granted, there are a lot of opportunities to buy it from other places, and I think that you should consider that if that's right for you, especially if the price is right. And if you have any questions or comments or anything we wanna discuss, just leave a comment. Another thing is I was in between wanting to buy the Inlet or the, the Bay ST. I ended up going with the Inlet because they quote that it only takes three minutes to put up when the Bay ST takes 10 minutes. The reason you buy a kayak like this is so that you can get out on the water as much as possible. The fact that I can just keep this in my car and if I want to kayak within three minutes at any point in time, that's really compelling to me and that's really why I went with the Inlet versus the Bay ST. Now some people say, well, it's a matter of seven minutes. That's seven minutes over the multiple times you're using it. The barrier of wanting to get out there and just go. I do think that this kayak is the best kayak on the market for anyone who just wants to get on the water as much as possible. It only takes three minutes to set up. That's pretty special. Some people do talk about the, the features and the pullbacks of having a foldable kayak. There's a lot of benefits outside of the small space that it takes up or the convenience or the lightweight. Those features actually end up being pros in a lot of other ways. When you're taking your kayak out of the water, you can literally just grab it and pull it right out. Or the folds, even allow for some maneuverability and stability that are pretty unique. You just have to feel to really understand. Now you do keep all of your seat, back, bulkhead, all within the kayak. You can go through the instructions of how to assemble and disassemble, but it actually is pretty straightforward after you do it once or twice. Yeah, now you can watch me go through that. I think another great reason why a lot of people can enjoy this kayak is because you can actually custom fit it to whoever's riding in it. So if you have a family of four or doing your significant other, you can actually adjust the seating based on your height. And then it's actually a pretty friendly kayak when it floats as well. It doesn't have too much side to side movement. And when it does, these edges here actually catch the water pretty good and you can feel relatively stable. Another thing that was interesting was when I, I took it out of the water, it was late at night, you were getting ready to fold it up, the sun was gone and I was like, this thing needs to dry. And so it was really nice because I could just open up the whole thing and just towel it off and then feel confident that it was going to be dry enough to just store at that point. Where any kayak, you have to feel like it has to dry out. You get that like river or lake smell or ocean smell. We're in Indiana, so some river smells. But one towel wipe this down pretty quickly. So this is a step you do with the front of the bow of the boat. So when you push that over, you do have some exposure. There is a hole. But if you look at the overall kayak, you know, I was thinking about it. It's meant for flat water anyway. But the point of the boat is actually higher than the sides of the boat. So odds are you're gonna get water in here before you get water in here. There is a handle on the front of the boat. I don't think that's shown or advertised really. There's also a handle on the side. 
for you to lift up. It's fairly light. I was carrying it by this. I don't know if you're supposed to. I also don't think they tell you that they have actually dedicated places for the seat and the bulkheads to put them in. They kind of just throw them in there, but they don't show that there is dedicated spaces for these. So there's no questioning of how to put it in or where to put it in. It's all intuitive and right there. People also complain about the stiffness of folding it, but honestly, I'm barely putting any pressure with this in my legs and there's a lot of loose strap here that I can put them both together when I'm not holding a camera. It's really a lot easier than what people are saying. And I don't know if that's just improvement of this new version, but it's, it's pretty great. When you're done folding it, be sure that you pull this handle up when you're closing it. And then it's it's really light, it's only 20 pounds. So I don't think Oru does a good job of explaining how comfortable these seats actually are. Reviews say that they're very uncomfortable. The product pictures on their website make it seem like this is like a piece of cardboard, but you got a pretty good thickness and level of comfort there. There was one moment when I was out in the water last week that the back seat strap ended up sliding out temporarily. If you see here, the back seat strap is fed in through there, but it is a plastic ring that, of course, I can't even get out right now. So you can see that slips out of there. And that happened on one of my trips just upriver, and it just popped, and I was like, Shoot, the whole time I've been talking about how great this kayak is and it just broke. But maybe I didn't have the strap right. Maybe I had the strap too tight, but it was simple to just to slide back in. It's something I'm gonna monitor. I don't know if I can change the size of the, the loop that goes into it. Again, you can just slip right back in and it locks and you're good to go. Nothing I'm worried about. So we've been on the water a few times now in the rivers and lakes and we went on a really windy day. A state park nearby here and it was a spontaneous trip we just went for a hike but i had this in the car so my girlfriend and i we both got in the kayak to test its weight capability it's rated at 275 pounds i'm about 180 she's about 90 92 so we were right at the weight limit and it felt fine the wind did blow us around a little bit but i'm not so sure that that wouldn't have happened if you were in any boat we were pushing 30 mile an hour wind it did sink much lower as expected without having just me in it but despite the wind and the choppy water it handles great. It comes with a handle, but another benefit that they don't talk about for the inlet is that there are additional shoulder strap loops for you to place a shoulder strap onto. It doesn't come with it, but I'm pretty sure you connect any shoulder strap to this and carry it. The two main takeaways for me are I really enjoy the convenience factor of it. The fact that I can leave it in my car, pull it out at any moment in time. You don't have to plan a kayaking trip. You can simply keep it in your car or even in your living room. And when you're ready to go, you can go. That's one of the best takeaways for me. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a shed. You don't need tie downs. You don't need any of that stuff, which all equate to a similar price what you have to pay to kayak otherwise. Second, I mean, compared to any kayak, but especially the other Oru kayak line, to assemble this in three minutes and be on the water is, is pretty unique. You're eliminating all of that factors of loading into your car with a normal kayak, but also it's 50% faster than the other Rory kayaks, which again, gets you on the water faster. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's a fantastic kayak. All in all, this is a great all around opportunity to get out on the water. Do I think it's traditional to other kayaks? No. Can you put a spray skirt on it? No. But I always felt in my purchase journey, I wanted something that would just get me out on the water as much as possible. And that's what this does.